Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with SO2Cl2 Lewis structure. It is a chemical formula for sulfur L chloride and to determine its Lewis structure we will first find out the total number of valence electrons. Here we have one sulfur atom, two oxygen atoms and two chlorine atoms. Sulfur atom has six valence electrons in its outer shell. Each oxygen atom has six valence electrons in its outer shell and chlorine atom has uh, seven valence electrons in its outer shell. We are going to multiply this and this number by two because there are two atoms of oxygen and two atoms of chlorine. So in total we have 32 valence electrons for this molecule. For the arrangement of this molecule we will place sulfur atom in the center and all the oxygen and chlorine atoms will be arranged around this atom like this. To show a bond between these atoms we will place a pair of electrons between sulfur and chlorine atoms, sulfur and oxygen atoms. Doing that we will be using up 8 out of 32 valence electrons and we, are and we are now left with 24 more valence electrons. If you look here closely, each atom over here besides sulfur atom requires 6 valence electrons to have a complete octet. So we are going to place 6 valence electrons around each um, atom except for the central atom. So 6 around this oxygen atom, 6 for this oxygen atom, 6 for this chlorine atom and 6 for this chlorine atom. Doing that we will be using up all our 32 valence electrons and we will have complete octets for all oxygen and chlorine atoms. But if you calculate the formal charges for this molecule it will come across a formal charge of plus 2 on the sulfur atom and minus 1 minus 1 on these oxygen atoms. So uh, generally we try to offer structures in which we have formal charges as close to 0. To nullify these charges, we can shift a pair of electrons from these oxygen atoms in between sulfur and oxygen atoms. If you ask how, then the answer is sulfur is actually an exception to the octet rule and it can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons. So by shifting a pair of electron from both these oxygen will be fine with sulfur as it can have expanded octets. So we will do that and which will result in a double bond formed between both these oxygen and sulfur atom. And hence now this is the lowest structure of SO2Cl2 and um, just remember to just remember to count the just remember to calculate the formal charges whenever you are confused or whenever you come across an element that can have an expanded octet because there are chances that it will try and accommodate more electrons. I hope this video helps you to understand SO2Cl2 lowest structure and for more such videos on lowest structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching